Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Programming Knowledge and this is another video on how to create mobile responsive website using Bootstrap. So in the previous tutorial, we have learned how to set up this project. We also included different files, the CSS, the images, the JavaScript, and all other dependencies. So if you haven't checked out the first part of this video tutorial series, please go ahead so that you can follow along with this tutorial. So in this lecture, we're going to modify the index.html and we will be adding different elements to this particular page. So right below this link, we will be adding a button. So button with the type button. So let's just remove the name for now and define our classes for this particular button. So class, and of course, we need the navbar Tumblr and of course nav, uh, navbar Tumblr right and of course we need also to have the data toggle for this so laps and data target will be Target will be the knob, uh, knob more responsive, and then we will be defining this div later on or below this line. We need to set also the aria expanded false to false and uh, are your controls this will be controlling also the nav more responsive div and of course the label for this is aria label and this will be toggle navigation so inside this button we need to add a span element that will be holding the icon for our toggle button. So this will be class and then of course nav bar toggler icon. Okay, there you go. And then after that one we need to set a div right below this button. So div and then with the class collapse and of course the nav bar uh, collapse and this has the idea of the nav bar responsive and inside this div we need to add the elements for our menu so an ordered list with uh, list items and of course our uh, an ordered list will have the class of nav bar and then nav and ml auto. This is specific from the bootstrap. So auto and my dash two, my large or lg dash zero. This has something to do with spacing with our elements. So this means margin left auto and margin top and bottom with a size two. Okay. And then we need to add class for our list item. This will be nav dash item. And inside this list item, we need to add the link. The first item will be the about section. So this should target the about section. So by using the number sign and then about. And of course, we need to add classes for this. So class will be nav link and of course js scroll trigger. So whenever we click on this item, it should trigger a scroll to the particular area of about section. Okay, and then we just have to and then we'll just have to copy and paste this. So 
uh, services, portfolio, and contact areas. So again, services. This will be portfolio. Port And then the last one will be the contact section of the site. And of course, we need to set this also for the services section. And this one also for portfolio. Okay, portfolio. And then of course, the contact section. Okay, there you go. Okay, so after that, we need to add the header to our page. So, header, and then this should have the class masthead with small m. And of course, this has to be, or this has to have the div with class container and h100. Next is to add another div inside this container div with a lot of classes such as row h100 and then we need to align the items to center and then justify content center and yes text center. Next is to add another div with of course a lot of glasses in it so column large pen and a line so and so again these glasses are specific from bootstrap so if you want to know more about these glasses you might want to check the bootstrap website for the documentation for these glasses okay and we need to add an each one element so this has to have the class uh, text uppercase and then the color is white and font width is bold so this should contain your favorite or your favorite with bigger F source of free tutorials or video tutorials okay and then below this line we need to add a div divider or HR class or HR element with class divider and of course we need to add the spacing class which is margin top and bottom with a size 4 then right after this element this div class or div element we need to add another div with a lot of classes still with column large 8 and align self baseline and here we need to add a paragraph with glasses text white and then sub and file font weight then light and mv5 and of course inside here we need to add the text Programming knowledge can help you can help you build better application by just following video tutorials. Video tutorials. You can be whatever you want. Whatever you want to be there you go and then inside this div also we need to add a link with uh, class b 
VPN and then VPN primary. Primary and VPN XO. And GS scroll trigger. And the target is the about section of our page. And then let's just put in find find out more. There you go. So let us save our file for now or the index.html and let's go back to our browser. Okay, so this is our index.html file. We have the uh, logo and we have the menus at the right about services, portfolio, contact. And we also have the H1 that we have added, your favorite source of free video tutorials, and the text, of course, and of course, the bottom that we have added or the link with the class VTN. So I think that's it for this tutorial. And in the next video, we will continue working on with this index.html, and we will be adding the different sections of our page. Thanks.